Here's another horse that I'm working on with the zoopharmacognosy. And I've been offering this horse echinacea. And he's taken quite a lot of it today. So he's had several handfuls. And I offered this same herb to my horse Mercury and Oliver, and they didn't want any of it. So echinacea, I know for my own knowledge, is an immune booster, and um, it's definitely good for you know viruses and illness of some kind. And I actually had a sense that this horse had something going on when I came back from England and I worked with him. So I wanted to see if I could offer him some things and see what might be going on. So he's starting to be less enthusiastic about the um, echinacea, so I can see that he's probably getting close to his fill on that. So I'm just going to offer him a little bit more. And he's still taking some more. But it's definitely less enthusiastic. I can feel that. I'm just going to see if he'll want a little bit more. and he actually pushed it away. So really interesting with that. Okay, now I have golden seal, which is quite similar to that. So uh, see if he wants any golden seal. This will be interesting. Smelled it with both nostrils. And again, smelling it with both nostrils repeatedly. That's one of the body language. inhalation of it. Okay, but doesn't want to take it in his mouth. So that's one he did want. So he chose a large amount of echinacea. Here's German chamomile. I'm very interested in that. Smelling with both nostrils. Again. And he doesn't need any German chamomile. Marshmallow here. Move back up. Let's try a little marshmallow. Fruit. He's not very interested in that.
So peppermint and echinacea. Take in a little bit more. Good. Only one who's taken peppermint so far. Got some rose hips. So he's very excited now. What are you bringing me next? Rose hips. He says he'll have some rose hips. So, rose hips, echinacea, and peppermint. So he's like a little bit, quite a lot of rose hips actually. This makes me really happy because the other day I, when I came back to the farm and I, I was working with this horse for some time now. In fact, I took him off the racetrack and I know him pretty well and I knew that something wasn't right with him that first day. And I even was just discussing that uh, right a few moments ago. And so what's nice is I can see that what my hunch is is that maybe something is going on by his selection of echinacea and rose hips, which have vitamin C and immune boosters, if you want, you want more of it. I'm giving it to you as much as I can. So, um, you know, I feel really good that I can offer him what he might need right now and um, not have to guess. He'll take what he needs to heal. Um, as I said before, we have a lot of trouble with Lyme disease in this area and um, it's a chronic problem. And, you know, I was hoping that some of these herbs would help boost the horse's natural uh, immune system, which echinacea is good for. But he's still taking rose hips. He seems like he's pretty well done. He just wants to see what's in there. It's right in my hand. Okay, I'll take him some. taking some, but less interested now. Okay. Try one last one. Can you back up? I know it's very delicious, all these good things that are helping me heal. So, last one is the barley grass. Oh, yes. So, I'm um, going to offer him some barley grass. Let's give him that a sniff. Not sure about that. Checking it out. Not sure he wants that. Licking it a little bit. Taking some now. Smelling. Licking. Let's try it off just a little bit more. I'm taking a little. Yeah, that's what's in my hand. Taking some more. Never had that before, but he definitely thinks he might want some of that. So he's taken a few handfuls of this at this point. Mercury ate quite a lot of this. Last time I offered it to him, and then stopped. Didn't want any more. So I ate a, a good quantity, and then didn't when I offered it to him, stopped wanting it. So I have no worry that they will eat more than they need of a medicinal type of food. It's not the same as when you offer them a regular type of food, a caloric food, you know, like a hay or a, a grass or a um, hard feed. So it's really interesting to see that they will not overeat on this stuff. They'll only take what they need. Want more? Oh yeah, you do want more, see? But I can definitely sense when they're getting sort of less enthusiastic about it. You know, he's got, he's looking at it, pushed at it, he sort of walked away. So, um, that's it, that's what I have to offer him. And no, I don't have anything else. Can you back up? So it makes me feel really good that today, when I knew that he was not feeling so good, I had this bunch of medicinal herbs that I could offer him, and he told me 
what's going on in some way. He didn't tell me exactly what he's feeling, but, but what he selected, I knew that my hunch was that he wasn't feeling exactly himself and maybe even has some, a little bit of a sickness going on. So it's pretty cool it's stuff. another horse that I work with regularly, and I'm going to see what he might take from the medicinal goodie bag. He was asking to try some. So I'm offering him rose hips first, which he's taking. Seems to be popular. He says he likes that. He's taking up a good bit, three handfuls now. Now this horse I know pretty well, and I know that he's also recovering from Lyme disease. He's just finished around antibiotics. So he may want to rebalance his system out pretty good. So it's another way to make sure that he's very, he wants the whole thing. So he likes those a lot. So again, vitamin C, biotin, and some other things. But uh, vitamin C, we know what that's good for. So I feel him getting a little less enthusiastic now. And move on to something else. But no, don't just be nice. Be nice. How's this? You don't even know what that is. Oh, licorice. So he's taking some licorice. Okay, want more of that? Uh, it's already showing that he's had enough of that. So maybe a little bit more, smelling it. So you wanted one handful of licorice. All right. Marshmallow, which nobody has taken so far. Oh, he's cleaning up some of the herbs he dropped from this one. Enthusiastic. 
So you like that. And we've got, <laughs> we've got that face. A little bit of barley green, barley grass. I keep messing up. So he doesn't know what that is. Oh, he's going right in for that. He had to smell it first. And he's taking the barley grass. So far, everybody has taken at least a little barley grass, if not a lot. And that's out of four horses so far. So this is something they really want to take in into their system. And I can tell already he's taking it, but he's getting less enthusiastic already, kind of looking at it. Still having some more. He likes this is pretty good stuff. So he's had about three handfuls. As I said in the previous videos, I was offering spirulina to my horses, but they didn't really want it. And Fiona told me that spirulina is not really what horses like, and she was right. And I had been prior mixing it in their feed, so they would eat it because it was mixed in. But when offered free choice, they didn't want it. So, um, interesting how out of my good intentions, I thought that that was a good nutritional supplement for them, which it is a good nutritional supplement, but not one that any of my horses would have self-selected. So, they self-select the barley grass. So he's taken a good amount of this as well as Mercury did. He's pretty happy with that. So, another one that's interesting. And during this heat, I actually offer Himalayan salt by hand, loose salt. So as you see, he's looking this Himalayan salt crystals out of my hand because I worry about the electrolytes and the minerals. And uh, sometimes what they have in their blocks is not what they want. So um, what I find is I'll usually take a few licks from my hand. He just wanted one or two licks of this high quality salt. And then I know that he's taking it in. So it is free choice salt still, but loose granular. So there's another one who had a completely unique selection and then the amounts that he wanted. So